Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss about the multi-currency management in Odo 50. In Odo, the user can configure multiple currencies for the transaction, set its exchange rate and assign different currencies for individual partners and books of account. Odo will allow you to send invoices, codes and purchase orders or receive the bills and payments in currencies other than the default or domestic currency. So it is a default feature in Odoo and the user just has to enable the option and configure the values. So we can move to the website module and go to the settings under the configuration. Here we can search for the option currency. So here in this accounting section we can see the option so click on that. And we will redirect to another page. Here we can see the currencies that have created before. So here we can see the details like currency, the simple uh, name, last update, current rate, whether it is using uh, eBay and here we can see the active status. So currently only three languages are in active state. So we can uh, create a new currency by clicking on this create icon or else we can search for INR and activate that. Okay, now by clicking on this, we can see the details like uh, currency name, currency unit, currency subunit, and uh, here we can see the current rate. So by clicking on this add a line option, uh, we can enter new rate here. So here I'm gonna add one. Okay, now we can save this. Now let's go to the price list. Before that, we should ensure that uh, we have enabled the price list option from the settings of website. So here in this pricing section, we can see that the price list option has enabled. So we can click on this product menu and here we can see the price list option. Here we can see the details like price list name, currency, whether it is selectable or not. Then we can see the website and also we can see the company name here. So by clicking on this create icon, we can create a new price list. Let it be demo price list. Okay, now we can change the currency. So here I'm choosing INR. Then we can add the price rule by clicking on this add a line option and a pop-up window will appear. Here the price computation can be chosen as fixed price, discount or formula. Then we can uh, enter a fixed price here. Then Then we can set the conditions based on all product, product category, product and product variant. So by choosing uh, this option, we can see a new field appearing on here. So here I am choosing the condition based on all product. Then here we can set a minimum quantity on which the price list should applicable. And also we can set a validity period for this. After entering the details, we can save and close. And here in this configuration, we can set the availability uh, country group. Then we can set the website and we can enable this selectable field. And also we can set a e-commerce promotional code here. Now we can save this. Likewise, we can also uh, create a price list or make any changes on the created price list. So here I am choosing the public price list and we can set the currency as USD and we can set the price rules and save this. Okay, now let's go to the e-commerce dashboard and click on go to website. So here we can see the shop menu and click on here and from this we can add one product to the cart. So here I am choosing customizable desk. So here we can see uh, three price list and if you choose this uh, demo price list, we can see that the currency uh, is in INR and if I choose another, 
we can see the changes occurring there so according to the uh, price list we can we have chosen the currency will change now we can add this product to the cart and then we can uh, complete the payment process so the payment procedure have done now let's go to the sales module and see the sales order so here we can see the uh, sales order now we can confirm this okay now uh, the quotation have been sent to the sales order so this is how we manage the multi currency management in odo 50 so that's all about the video thank you for watching